Another issue is just to think about the issues that we face in to what extent we really think that space exploration is an important goal. So space exploration costs a lot. Um, it, it requires enormous investment. Um, and obviously, we, when we're thinking about making such enormous investments, we need to think not just about the benefits of that activity, but all the potential benefits that we forego by spending our resources in this way. So I think we also now need to think seriously before we even further engage in space exploration, what our real aims are and how we could justify this sort of investment relative to all sorts of other investments, homegrown investments or more earthly investments that we might engage in. So one might be, again, sort of the potential of knowledge. Maybe there's just something, you know, deeply moving about the idea of exploration, even if it doesn't directly materially benefit lots of people. Um, if the argument is that it's going to convey various kinds of material benefits, then I think we do collectively need to think seriously about just how likely it is that we're going to have those benefits and also to think about how they're going to be shared. So again, relating to what I said before, you know, even if you think that there are potentially enormous benefits of space exploration, economic benefits, um, whether or not it's justifiable for us now to engage in those certain investments, it seems to me depends very much on who are going to be the beneficiaries of those investments. So if the governments of various countries are investing very heavily in space exploration, that if successful and if commercially successful, is simply going to be contributing benefit to certain segments of the population, that seems less defensible, to me at least, um, than if we sort of see these benefits as more widely shared. One of the things that is certainly an important potential benefit of space exploration may be various types of technology and knowledge that come about through these explorations, which may not directly succeed in achieving various kinds of exploration. So um, I don't know offhand examples, but um, at least there, there's potential benefits to basic science through space exploration. Um, still, we have to ask ourselves, um, are these benefits that merely arise because we happen to spend a lot of resources in this direction, but they could just as easily have been discovered if we were expending resources in some other direction? Um, or are they somehow uniquely tied to this kind of investment? Um, because, of course, we, there are lots of scientific discovery we're not engaged in because we simply are not putting resources into it, there, or it's not commercially viable. So we always have to ask ourselves this comparative question, are we likely to sort of gain more knowledge and more useful knowledge for human beings to live by investing our resources in this way rather than that other way?